Hello guys, time for some more scary security videos. And a big thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. More about them later. The following was captured in an over 100 years old plaza resort in which a lot of spooky things have been captured over the past decades. This particular night, security staff was alerted by something unusual that was captured by the security camera of their downstairs bar, which was closed and empty at the time. They noticed a strange looking shape, which seems to be switching sizes and was morphing. As one of their officers goes downstairs to check, this thing just vanished, and the officer swears that he couldn't see anything, but noticed a suspicious cold draft behind the bar area. The guy upstairs was telling him, go behind the bar, it's behind the bar, go behind. So he started to go behind the bar, and he said, no way, and he got out of here. You know, I've had doors held, like you're pulling on a door, and the door's not locked. And walk in, and there's nobody in there. So, was it maybe a visitor from the afterlife? Jody Jam is working night shift in another pretty old hotel and states that tonight she was hearing pretty eerie voices from the hotel's basement and then even noticed the heavy fire door opening on its own. Which basically is impossible and therefore she started recording Somebody's playing a joke on me. A search of the basement revealed nothing, which makes many believe that we might have witnessed a paranormal encounter here. Was it a spirit yelling for help? Some commenters believe that this is the case. And who knows what exactly lingers in these old walls of this antiquated hotel. The other day I wasted hours trying to cancel a few of my subscriptions. Well, today's video sponsor Rocket Money is here to help. Rocket Money is the app you need to achieve financial freedom. This personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, build a custom budget and grow your savings all in one place. And I just love the amazing feature it offers. Sometimes all my subscriptions can just get a bit too overwhelming. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies recurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you. You can even cancel from within the app with just a couple of taps. No need to worry about customer service calls. Rocket Money has helped save its customers an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. So guys, to save more and spend less, join over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash kingfrostmare or click the link in the video's description to get started for free. 
The Denver State Hospital closed down in 1992, but when it was opened, about 3,000 people with serious mental problems stayed there. The staff treated them badly, and nurses who used to work there still remember seeing really scary things, like patients walking around in their own mess because they weren't taken care of properly. One night in 2000, a security guard, who was supposed to keep an eye on the old building, recorded something weird while checking out the basement. It's a bit hard to see, but in the video, the guard moves the camera to a room in the basement. You can see a dark figure moving slowly inside. The guard didn't notice it at the time, but later, when he watched the recording again, he got really scared. In the footage, there's a shadowy figure. Remember, the basement is off limits, so no one else should have been there. People watching the video think it might be something supernatural, like a ghost. But the big question is, what exactly did the camera capture? Whether it's a ghost or not, we still don't know. This was captured by mall security as they were witnessing one of their colleagues being attacked by an invisible force. He was just patrolling the area when he states that something grabbed and rammed him into a stand. As his colleagues arrive to help him up, he swears to have seen a tall invisible shape that was standing in front of him for a few seconds before disappearing into thin air. Could it be that a paranormal presence had attacked the man, or did he just lose his balance? This man was working the night shift all alone in an empty high school, where a specific hallway is strictly off limits to solo students after a certain time. It is because this school was built on a cemetery, and many people say that they see really strange things on that floor. One night, our brave man is feeling a bit uneasy after a strange encounter, and he decides to document his experience on video. Alright, I, um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job, um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. Um, here at work, I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. you guys know this school was built on the cemetery um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that you know every night something happens some some spooky shit. I don't know paranormal or whatever you want to call it but yeah I didn't really believe them until tonight um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party but um it's been freaking me out is this one right here. Um, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just uh mm, see that right there. Um
Ooh. Okay. See, no, no, no. It just, it just follows me no matter what. As the man steps out of a classroom, a red balloon starts trailing him. That alone is pretty odd, but it gets weirder. The other balloons in the vicinity remain stationary, while this one has a mind of its own, sticking to the man like a shadow. Feeling seriously creeped out, he takes a cautious step back, and then this happens. It's hard to see, but this mysterious silhouette sips by at lightning speed. The sighting is enough to send shivers down the man's spine, prompting him to run out of there as fast as he can. Since that spine-tingling night, there haven't been many updates, except for a video where the man admits to feeling scared about walking alone. Like I said, I haven't been back here to touch anything. You guys can see that. Whether it's a ghostly encounter or something else, the whole incident keeps replaying in his mind. So what exactly was captured on that video? The following recordings were documented and shared by user It Simon. He works the night shift as a security guard in an old hotel. Apparently, many ghost stories tell about several entities that roam the lower levels of this building. And not too long ago, somebody passed away in one of the storage rooms close to the staff lounge. After hearing unexplicable noises and even voices, Simon started a little video diary. This was the first entry. I do security at a hotel. I was making a video of where I go when I'm doing my rounds. A guy died here a few months ago. This is the staff lounge. I don't think he ever left. Bathrooms. Nah, nah, nah. An unidentified voice can be heard. Simon suspected at first that it might have been the person who died in there. Could this be? A bit later, he kept his camera rolling while he was going on a short bathroom break. Strange, but the activity didn't stop there. Hello? Bro, oh, why are the lights off? Yep, nope, nope, I'm out, nope. 
After taking another bathroom break on one of the following evenings, loud shuffling noises were apparently noticeable from right outside. So I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm not going to the bathroom if you're wondering. <laughs> but uh, I'm hearing like shuffling sounds outside the door. And I need to put the camera on. Bro, bro, what the f was that? No. He tried to investigate a bit further, but got spooked away pretty quick that night. Is that sound? I don't know if you can hear it. I swear to God, I hear singing going on right now. What the f is that? No, 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 no. Can you hear the voices? This could also be a chair being moved, in my opinion. Yet, yeah, no, I'm out. This just happened on my live stream. Imagine that chair moves. Oh, f no, no. Imagine that chair moves. Oh, after things had settled down for a few nights, the following was captured. Oh my god, what the, what the... After having this creepy incident unfolding in the staircase, he returns on one of the following nights with a bottle of holy water. I got this holy water off Amazon. I'm gonna drop it down the stairs. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, what the f Some say he might have angered the entity which is haunting this place. Could that be so? When he was checking out one of the storage facilities shortly after this incident, it would appear that this thing followed him once again. Hello? How creepy. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen right now. Uh, I was making coffee and what's this? It hurts right now, it's like burning. What the hell is this? How strong is this entity? What the f It's like under my freaking arm too. This was Simon's last video and it is unknown if he's still working there or not. But many believe that something rather sinister was messing with him all these nights.
The following is an eerie CCTV recording, which was captured in a hospital in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and it was all over the news. At 3.30 in the morning, a receptionist can be seen getting out of the chair and, based on his reports, greeting an elderly woman that was coming through the door. And we do in fact notice how the automatic door is opening. The unsettling part, however, is that there is no trace of anybody entering. The man walks towards the entrance, detaches the security tape, and writes down the patient info. After finishing up, he seems to let the invisible person pass through, and guides them towards the back of the hospital. Only moments later, another CCTV camera captures how the same receptionist is getting a wheelchair which is stored right next to the elevators. He offers it to the invisible lady, but is seemingly getting rejected, causing him to return the wheelchair. As the hours go by, the man is wondering if the elderly woman got picked up after losing sight of her for quite some time. After checking, the hospital staff told him that they have not admitted anybody around that time and that nobody saw the elderly lady he was speaking of. They check the patient registration and, get this, it turns out that the info belonged to a woman who had deceased the day prior. So, was the man talking to a ghost here? How scary. series of videos today were recorded by a user named Jay Bay Bay, and he works at a really old theater. You might have heard of his case in the past. He states in several of his videos that really mysterious and inexplicable things are going on here, especially at night. Customers report strange shadows, noises and see things being moved right in front of them. In the first video of the series, Jay explores the seating area, unnecessary to say. He was the only person guarding the premises that night. Yet, something catches his eye in the distance. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Just double checking, but I wanted to film it just in case. There's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And um, what is that? It would appear that a person is sitting up there, which based on Jay's statements should have been impossible. So what are we looking at here? Was it maybe just a prop that was forgotten? But how is it possible that it seemed to have moved slightly? Maybe a former customer enjoying a show? On one of the following evenings, Jay updates us on the situation. Hey guys, so um, I was just coming up here to check the fire extinguisher. I'm up in the light booth right now, and I swear to God, I heard somebody clapping. And um, I looked down on the stage and I thought I saw something, but I have not. I've been calling down for about a minute and I haven't heard anything. And I honestly should have just been filming this whole time. I'm sorry I wasn't, but. <sighs> This is the window that I saw something in the other day. I'm gonna go up there and check it later once I get all the lights on, but... Hello? 
on first glance, maybe it was just something explainable that night. A seat perhaps, or the old floorboard settling in. See? The night after, he was on duty with another colleague, and yet again heard some really strange noises stemming from the distance. Hey, you up there? That door is not supposed to be open. Hey, Brad. Something just pushed me, and that door opened. <sighs> but it gets a little bit more disturbing pretty soon. Alright guys, so I'm here late at night checking in on the place because the sirens went off. That means that somebody was trying to get in. Got here, there wasn't anybody here, but I just heard the piano in the small space, so I think there might be somebody there. Someone in here? Hello? Hey. You're not supposed to be in here. Who is it? After the piano starts playing by itself, Jay made it out of there as fast as he could. And this was the last incident that he documented to this day. What do you think? Is it the works of a poltergeist? Or does something more explainable lie behind these happenings? Woo, alright y'all, my heart is racing. Okay, so... I see this sometimes, I've been trying to catch this on camera, nothing over here, I promise there's nothing over here, I'm not doing anything to manipulate this, watch. Look, you see that? This is what I'm talking about, okay, check it out. Let me get another one. Look, I'm not doing anything, I swear, I'm just standing here, I see this all the time. It only happens, okay, yeah, see, it only happens to this, <gasps> okay, that's the biggest I've ever seen it. This is the basement, this is the green room. Anyone in here? Guess I can turn on the light. Hello? Alright. Wig room. Anyone in here? The bathroom. The shower turns on and sends chills up my spine. Whoa. Someone's in here. Yo, it's midnight. You... starts to glitch. Someone behind that. <laughs> okay. All right. Um There's gotta be somebody down here. To nobody's surprise, Bailey did not find anybody that could have done this. He sometimes works with a colleague that, in his mind, could have easily turned on the shower and the lights. But he wasn't working that night. However, maybe something else was with Bailey in the shower area. 
something that went unnoticed. <laughs> A viewer pointed this black object out and Bailey said that no black object should have been placed there. So they were not sure if this could have been another shadow encounter. But he went live on his Instagram the night after and might have captured another glimpse of the shadows that are dwelling in this theater. Hard to say what exactly this was, but if it wasn't his colleague, then it's very plausible that something paranormal had happened here. <laughs> 